Hello. Welcome to my scripting tutorial. In this video I'll be covering the basics of scripting. Before you start scripting, you should set console to a hotkey. You need it for debugging and it shows errors. To use it, you have to enable developer mode. You can enable it from percent of data percent slash super tux to slash config. Change developer mode from F to T. F stands for false and T for true. Now that you have done that, I'll show you how to add a script to an object. First create an object with script option. Then type the script into it. You can also run script right at the beginning of the level. You just need to type it into sector, setting and initialization script. So, you might wonder what commands you can use. This is a website with all the commands for super tux. Let's make a power up script. First to know the command, you must go to player and check what the command is. According to this the command is add bonus and you can access the command via tux before the command. So, let's type this command. First we need to create an object for it. Then we just type the command into it. Tux.add bonus. Let's try it. It works. You can also type multiple commands. You just need to separate them with a semicolon. Let's add some coins when the block is hit. Tux.add coins 100. Now you get a power up and 100 coins when you hit the block. The most common object for scripting is scripting trigger. It instantly runs a script in it. If you use it as a button, it runs the script when you press up. You can use scripts on objects. You access the objects with their names. For example if we create a candle called candle1 and want to use a script on it, we need to type candle1. The command you want into any object with script option. For example candle1. Set burning true. Now the candle starts burning. The naming works for tile maps too. Just check the commands from the website. On the website you might see a command with string or bool in the brackets. The string means you have to put the word into quotes, for example quote word here quote. Bool means the word has to be true or false. True means the condition happens and false means it doesn't. Int stands for integer and is a number without decimals. Float is the same as int but with decimals, for example 1.4 or 1.0. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. If you have tutorial suggestions or any questions about SuperTux comment it down below.